Hey, what's up guys? Braden Ursel here with Castanet's Week in Review, and we've got plenty of newsworthy stories to talk about today, including the announcement of the new cancer center in Kamloops, a meetup on how to tackle human trafficking in the Okanagan, the return of football in Kelowna with the Okanagan Sun starting their spring camp, and finally, the opening of a new airsoft field at Bull Mountain Adventure Park. We'll start things off in Kamloops, where Health Minister Adrian Dix talked about the long-awaited cancer center and its approval. We'll be building on our existing community uh, uh, oncology network site and adding, of course, radiation therapy to this site. And it will be, I think, a significant change. And once we build it, once we finish building, once we do this uh, capital uh, investment together, we're going to have this center for the decades to come for the patients who need it for decades to come. The cost of the project is expected to be between 200 and 300 million dollars. Shifting things to Kelowna, the city of Kelowna, YLW and the RCMP have partnered with an initiative called Not In My City to help end human trafficking. Kelowna was identified as a destination within a known human trafficking circuit in Western Canada where victims as young as 13 are being sexually exploited. We're in uh, nine airports across Canada. Um, it was an exciting day when we heard uh, at Pearson International Airport that employees can't even get through security unless they've taken the Not In My City training program. So a part of what we're trying to do is, is help um, airports and, and uh, our, the airline industry to understand the signs and the story of human trafficking in Canada and know what to do with a do no harm approach so they can trigger a community response and sort of be that first line of defense. So it's exciting to see this happening here in Kelowna today. You can get more information and take the course at notinmycity.ca. The Okanagan Sun returned to the gridiron this weekend in preparation of the 2023 season, where they'll be looking to defend their national championship after going undefeated last year. The team has goals to repeat as champions. You know, our focus is to bring that same atmosphere and that same uh, mentality home and win it in front of our fans in 2023. Uh, the BCFC hosts the national title this year. And, you know, everything that we're doing right now is to put us in the best position to host the national championship in Kelowna and hopefully hoist that trophy again in front of our home fans. Roughly 40 players will be cut by the end of spring camp, and the new season is scheduled to get underway later in July. Bull Mountain Adventure Park is getting ready for the grand opening of their new airsoft field. The three-course range will have two outdoor playing fields, an indoor facility for closed combat, and enough room for up to 60 shooters. Courses are awesome. We got the, the deadfall course by the creek, this, this radio tower, this ski hill, and then we got the indoor map which is all close quarters so like we'll if we get hot outside we'll go in and play on the indoor one and sometimes we'll have a free-for-all with pistols only so that, that's lots of fun too. The grand opening is scheduled for June 3rd and people are encouraged to sign up online. That's all the time we have this week. It's been fun and I'll see you guys next week. For Castanet's Week in Review, I'm Braden Ursel.